Francisco is not the only city targeted for a simulated biological attack. Declassified documents show that two years later, a similar test on a much larger scale takes place in Minneapolis. This is the house I grew up in. This is 29th and Clinton. The school is behind me, about a block and a half. I played on the playground. All of my friends were in the neighborhood. It was a very middle-class working neighborhood. Most of the, our mothers stayed at home. We were the typical 50s housewives. Our fathers were working. We were in and out of each other's houses all the time, running in and out the way children will do. It was a very nice, safe, secure neighborhood. In the summer of 1952, the Army turns this safe and secure environment into a testing ground, simulating an attack with bacteriological weapons. During a three-month period, from 8 in the morning until midnight, hundreds of military personnel spray clouds of zinc-cadmium sulfide over Minneapolis.